to Castelo Branco, which is a it's a district and it's also a, um, a city in central Portugal. Well, we're coming into Castelo Branco, the city now. It's very spread out and it's actually quite big. And um, it's got an old part, old area, which we're gonna go and look at that because that's always more interesting. And there's also a castle there. Look at the bird nest up there on that chimney. <laughs> it's probably a stork. Uh, it could be a bird of prey. This is uh, some of the newer areas of Castelo Branco city. It's a nice sunny day. So here we are. And we're just kind of going uphill towards the castle area. See some of these new buildings. That's a hotel there on the left. Oh, here we are. We've arrived outside the castle area. Um, we got to walk to it. It's associated with the Knights Templar, and you know it was a historical military kind of place here in the area. And it was built on a hill, and this hill used to be um, uh, settled by the Romans. So it goes back a long way, you know, and the city kind of grew up, you know, from, from the area, from this hill. And within the castle area, there's also actually a church. It's called the Church of Santa Maria. So anyway, let's go and explore it a little bit and perhaps find out some more about it. Okay, here we are. You can see Castello Branco in the background. I have to wear my big hat because it's actually quite a hot day and the sun's a little bit hard on my skin so I have to get this huge hat. But anyway, there you go. You can kind of see it in the back. So spread out. And we're up here on the hill which is the site of <coughs> The original Roman settlement and we're actually headed towards the um, church area now and then the castle hopefully in the back somewhere I don't even know where it is it's somewhere around here okay this is the church presumably this is the one with yes it is okay I just saw that castle turret over there so this is the one within the castle uh, building this is quite beautiful here. It's nice and shady from the trees. A little bench over there. And it's just nice and cool here for some reason. I guess because of the trees there and because it's kind of on a hill. It's just part of the church, I guess. And here we are, you can see the castle walls. There are a few people here. There's the castle. You can climb up those steps. I actually came here a long time ago. I think it was back in the 80s. I'm just remembering it now because <laughs> I'd forgotten. You can walk up there along the wall. Oh, good grief, these huge um, cell phone towers and things, I don't know why. And here are some of the views, try and get a little bit closer. Yeah, there's a little hill up there and we're going to have to see if we can find out what that is. And there's the uh, city, the castle up here, overlooking it.
we've just kind of stepped inside that tower, the castle tower, look at this. There's this amazing window here, sort of a church style window. And as you look through it, look at this, an even more amazing view of the city right here from the castle. Well, the city and beyond. You see some of the older parts of the town down there where, where that clock tower in the center of the film is. You can see a few older homes and things there, buildings, and then a cathedral. And then there is over there, I'm not sure what that, if that's a convent, then that's something we're going to have to really look into. It almost looks like a convent. So it's got quite a bit of history, and but not much is actually known about it uh, beyond the 1100s. So it's just kind of grown. It's grown from this hill sort of outwards and just got bigger and bigger over the centuries. Now it's actually a very thriving city. Lots of restaurants, parks old buildings and so on. And this is looking out from the same tower and the window from the window opening on the left, this same tower. There's the view here with the mountain beyond. We're trying to go up to that tower behind me. That's like the second one. But there's some uh, people there, some guys, kids or whatever, I don't know, hanging out, laughing and stuff. There's not much space up there, so. <laughs> okay, I think we're finally gonna get a chance to go in there. Those guys have gone. We've got these um, metal steps going up with a load of graffiti on the sides. <coughs> And even, even better views, look at that. Same um, area that we just filmed, the city, city line there. And this just shows you a little bit more of the buildings here and the ruins. This is, um, we're walking towards the Prasa, uh, the square, which is the older part. And I'm just kind of trying to find it. Look at this, you can see part of the old walls here. And look at these gorgeous chestnut trees. Aren't they lovely? It's beautiful. I always like the older parts of these cities. So much more interesting and sort of quirky. It's got quite a few restaurants in here and um, we're going to head out to an Indian restaurant today because it's Bab's birthday so we're going to do that soon. Look, look at these little back roads, look at that. Interesting isn't it? Yeah, just kind of uphill, narrow. Look how narrow this one is here. Cars do come down here. These are like little businesses, some of them. Cars have before in the house of the oven. Look at that little picture of an old lady baking bread in the stone ovens like uh, they used to do in the old days, like my grandmother used to do. 
pleased to watch her doing that and it was really amazing but a lot of hard work <laughs> this is cute look at this little place up there for sale that really is quite a bit of work too i would imagine but this is so much nicer than the more modern areas because it's got character uh, you can see behind me it's long narrow little road this is like the what i call the village part of the uh, city you know you just see so much more when you walk around instead of just driving everywhere but parking can be a challenge Who's this place? The center of artistic something. <laughs> We've got ballet and stuff here. For children and adults. Nice little art community center. Unfortunately, as you can see, cars do go through here and they go pretty fast along these narrow roads, which is ridiculous. To be honest, they shouldn't really be allowed to come through these very narrow roads. But that's something somebody else needs to do something about. Okay, we're in the kind of a central plaza area here, some of the old buildings. They're now being used as various things like government offices, and community centers, or things like that. Um, art galleries, There's something over there, I don't know if that's an art gallery. Colors of the world, Cor do Mundo. So, this is really sweet. There's a little map here that I guess tells you all the different places to go. And again, the sad thing is that unlike, unlike Venice in Italy, <laughs> cars just kind of get everywhere here, which is a bit sad, but oh well. So you've always got to be looking out for traffic. Mm. Look at that street up there. See the castle where we were, right at the top there, that window? That's where we were. That's so cool. There's the museum to the left somewhere. What's that? So, and this is quite stunning. Look at this, this looks very old. This arch. There's an old sign up there that says the Arch of the Bishop Road. Gorgeous flowers up there. Everywhere you go, you can smell the flowers. Look at these old houses here and how the way the walls are kind of buckling because they're so old. These are really in ruins. Look at that, just co totally collapsed inside. I just want to capture this old door of this old building. Look at that. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? Amazing. There's kind of an old smell here as well. There's kind of the smell of um, old things back there as well, like old buildings. That mural there. Mural on the side of that house. It's got some of the history of the place with the Knights Templar. Um, music, local music. A little garden right here, right in front of it. And it's right beside this very old building. I don't see too many people around. I don't know. Where is everybody? It's not that hot today. Not anymore, anyway. It was earlier. We cooled down a little bit because the clouds came. Another little area here. It's just full of these little streets. That's where we just came from here. 
these old things, old walls. Look at the fig tree up there. Beautiful. It's got some nice figs on it already. Look at that. They're not ripe yet, but they will be soon. You gotta probably get a lot of sun there at the top. Anyway, I think this, where does this go? And it goes down this little road, but we're not sure where this goes. So I think we're gonna kind of turn back and go back to the same way. Yeah, this goes over there. I just want to show the uh, um, swallow. I think there's swallow nests up there. Look at that. It's lovely. I think the sparrows are using it too. <laughs> I just saw a sparrow coming out. Sweet. I'm glad they haven't taken them off. Just over there painting, just kind of painting the square here. It's nice to see artists actually outside. There's actually a few artists here, there's actually about three or whatever. And just to mention something, I mean, look how, look at the beauty of how in the old days people used to blend, you know, buildings with with nature. I mean, look at that. It's just built onto those rocks. I love it. It's really quite special. Then you have the more modern stuff like here on the left. It's completely different, isn't it? Vast difference. Okay, this is some of the newer part of the city. see shops and stuff, bakeries, pharmacies, banks, the usual stuff here in these areas. Not particularly interesting but you know it's um it's where you're gonna find some of the things you need. just actually walking to the restaurant now um, it's called taste of India so we're gonna see how that is we did go there once um, so let's go just looking at the nest parked on, I mean parked <laughs> I mean made right there on top of the, uh, the old factory uh, chimney or whatever that is <laughs> Well, unfortunately, it is closed. <laughs> um, this is one of the problems we've run into here in Portugal a lot, is that a lot of restaurants are only open for lunch and dinner, and dinner is usually starts around seven or whatever. Okay, we're going back to the Indian restaurant because they just saw us and they said they're open, so, <laughs> so I guess they've bent the rules a little bit, so let's go. Well, here we are in the Indian restaurant. It's got some nice paintings. No, they can't really see that. Um, so it's kind of nice. It's just us and another couple, but um, we managed to get in. So <laughs> Here we have our wonderful mango lassi and some samosas. Lassi is like a yogurt kind of drink and this is a mango one. That looks really tasty. Wow, look at that. And here is our palak paneer with rice. Wonderful. That looks really good, isn't it? And I should explain that palak paneer is, what it is, it's uh, spinach with various spices and so on. And then it's um, got these little um, 
I don't know, it's almost like feta cheese, but it's not, it doesn't have that taste. Mm -hmm. It's just very mild, almost like tofu, but it's made of milk. So it's a type of cheese, I guess. So that's what the white pieces in there are. And it's absolutely delicious. Well, that was actually quite a nice meal, the palak paneer. Um, as I explained what it is, it's spinach with a kind of, normally it's like a, a kind of Indian cheese sort of thing. And it's kind of bland tasting, but when you have it in mixed in with anything else, like the, you know, the spinach combination of, and sauce and stuff, it's actually really nice. But I noticed that the um, paneer, which is the cheese that they're using here is actually just tofu. <laughs> so I'm assuming that they can't, find it here easily so um maybe they can't make it i don't know why maybe it's not cost effective so they use tofu instead but that was actually quite nice anyway um very tasty indeed and the samosas weren't that great um they tasted like they've been frozen and then you know recooked or whatever but anyway it's it's kind of a nice place it was quiet and they let us in, which is great. So we actually got to, to eat something. So I think we're gonna head back now. And it's a Saturday afternoon and it's uh, there's not many people around. Like, where is everybody? It's like these Portuguese towns and cities are uh, deserted um, compared to places where I've been anyway in other parts of the world. But um, I expect it gets a little bit busier as the tu the um, tourists start to come, and you know, and the the um, immigrants, the Portuguese who emigrated away, and then they come back for the summer on their vacations. So that's probably what it is. But at the moment, it's just so quiet; it's unbelievable. So anyway, we're heading back. So see you next time. Bye. <laughs>